Hey folks, Brandon here. Now, I've done vids on this top before. Probably most on my Survive, Thrive, Thankful to Be Alive with Brandon Facebook page and my regular Facebook page. And I've done a little bit of this on my YouTube channel, which is originally owned by my mom, but I am the person that does the vids on it. I'm the one that gives the content and thinks of the stuff for channel, the one that um, allows what does be done on the channel. My mom just happens to be the person it was created for, and I use the channel basically. Okay, she got no idea she had it. I believe I posted videos about it before. You can probably find one of my videos. I'm not pointing the bit here. So, graduated high school on June the 6th, 2014, and I said I was going to take two years off. My first year and a half. If you count the half a year left of you know, I'd already got from school because June 6th is like in the middle of the year anyway. So we have that half of the year. And I spent most of that time just watching YouTube vids and watching survival TV shows and whatnot and just being lazy. Now the second year, the beginning of 2015, I slowly started to get into real more yard work. Started helping more around the house, started doing more and, and um, actually contributing more than I ever had before. I'm pretty sure it's 2015. If not, I was slowly progressing in the middle of 2015, sure enough, 2016, of helping out here on my family's land. This is just my yard right here, my house. Those are the fields in front of my yard. Those are wilderness. I live out here near the countryside in a farmland community called Auburn, South Carolina. Auburn side, South Carolina, excuse me, Auburn. I'm from South Carolina, I'm in a small farm community in a wilderness named Auburn. And through them trees over there, you can't really see it from here, is my Nan and Pa's house, which is a restaurant. And then we have about a hundred feet down from that, Uncle Glenn's house. And um, yes, there's my dog Feather. And it may or may not rain today, I don't know, but anyway. So yeah, we have all this land, that's blood land, it's family land. It goes in generations. When one person becomes deceased, the next person beneath them takes over, has her grand youngins have the right to live out here, originally. But mainly we try to keep only the bestest of people and the most righteous of our family. Because everybody has the dark side of family that stray away from the path and whatnot. So we do our best. That right there. This is my nan and pa's house. That's our old barn. We have two goats over there. We have a string right here that flows from over there inside those woods and whatnot. All this and that little trail of woods right over there and the rest of the road that goes out over there. We have all this out here just to us that only me and my dad really take care of. My dad's 62, I'm 22. My mom is either in her late 40s, if not early 50s, not really sure. She works at Walmart. I do yard work around the block for, I think Mr. Donnie's house is over there. I do it for Jamie Burr, which is way across, way down that way somewhere, way down that way past the field and everything over there. Come on, Feather. And so yeah. I also do a little bit of work here and there for the recent neighbors that have moved across the field over that way, past the woods, past the raggedy across the, over there from the paved road. I have some relatives there, my cousins live over there, being in the Weatherfords. And we over here are the Laramores. This is all, this is Laramores Drive. This is all our land, with the exception of the field in front of us. The trees, the yard, all this. And so uh, for many years, even before I got out of school, me and my dad, we were walking through all this and explored the woods and whatnot. And we loved it, or I loved it. My dad told me I needed American heritage. I got to learn more about it. I don't know how many arrowheads we've found over the years. In fact, over here, inside this bowl, There. Happens to be some some of the rocks we found and whatnot. 
Here's some more that we have found over the years. We found that cactus in the woods too and brought it over here. Now, some of my porch does look like they have a mess, but this is not my junk, this is my mom's junk. Because she's trying to bring all this new stuff in from her work. Of course, she works at Walmart. And I want to buy these products she sees off TV. And we don't have enough room with all our old stuff. So, please do mind the junk. We have the inside of my house. Most of us look like a Dagon Museum inside here. What not with the stuff we have. And this is something me and my dad made years ago. Out of all the arrowheads we collected. So we have all that. We have my computer work air room or table full of my mother's junk. We have the back of the room right there. If you see a bunch of junk of stuff laying around, it's mainly my mom's and whatnot. Sadly, it used to be mine years ago when I was real younger. Before I graduated high school or got into high school. This is me and my dad's room. We slept in this room together for half of my life up to middle school. And finally I ended up getting my own room, but sadly it is full of her junk at the moment. What not. But we have a decent amount of stuff still around here. And you cannot see that good inside the lighting. Let me get let me get my flashlight here. My little tack light by Bellin Howl, I think it's called. So there we go. Everything else. So yeah, that's just a little bit of junk I have, not much. I'm just on that side of the room. Got my boots down there. But yeah. This is my memorial dedication to my brother from a different mother that I never got to meet, who passed away a year before I was born. Right there, Chris. There's some pictures of me, my dad, my nana. We got little inspirational things right there and there. We got this picture of a chief, look like. We got this rug in Cherokee, North Carolina. And we got that right there. We got more inspirational stuff. We got a little decorative stuff my mom's. More decorative stuff my mom's. We got an old family photo when I was real young. More inspirational stuff, little flower stuff. Um, more inspirational stuff. And because of all the junk that's in my room, you can't really even go in my room and see my room. So I don't think there's any point showing uh, too much of my room in this video. But so, yeah, in 2016, I definitely worked more. And as soon as I got out of high school, I got with the First Church of God. I was a... Youth Leader in Training was a program they made for us older people to stay in there with them. What not, basically. My hat collection, which you can't barely see, sadly. This is all the junk she has put in my room. That's supposedly my dad's we got from the back room. Because both my dad and her back room used to be the same room, which is that room right there. But... She has a decent amount of stuff back there. I'm not gonna show us inside my mom's room. I don't think it's very appropriate. Just show stuff in her room. She's not even home. She's going to work at me anyway. I'm gonna say oh, yes. I was doing stuff with a church, and for the next two years between doing that, messing around a little bit while I was left with the former tribe, I was fully dedicated to the PAIA, or also known as the Lower Eastern Cherokee, South Carolina. PI stands for Piedmont American Indian Association. And um, anyway, besides that, I was mainly doing a whole bunch of different youth trips with different places and just hanging out with the youth and doing stuff for the church and the community and whatnot. I didn't really get the chance to do as much stuff for music as I wanted to or for the church, but I did get to do a decent amount, especially going on trips with the youth. And I spent the two years after that just really taking care of my name and my dad because before middle school ended my pa the owner of all this land passed away then it was up to nanny in her hands and we took care of her 
This right here is going to be um, some of the get it right it's picks right there of me and my friends on all the youth trips. This is me and my youth pastors, Mr. Rick and Miss Nat at their house at a Christmas party. That's our chorus leader, Miss Debbie. That right there is Miss Nat. There's our youth. That was at a no, that's that they wanted youth to treat to the beach. I believe there's me. That's the rest of the youth. That was downtown at um I forget where, some restaurant. That is in the youth room at our church, whatnot. And everything on Thanksgiving or something, I do believe. That's our sanctuary right there, where they do all the seminars and whatnot, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's old high school photo of mine. There's me at the top, class 2014. That's me and my old bro, Tanner Hopkins, us doing drama class, doing fake fighting. That was a play we was part of in the first year of Drama 1, being in 2013, we're doing It's a Good Boy, Charlotte Brown. I was the operator of the spotlight. There's us right there, uh, Miss Nat's house again, another Christmas party, all the youth. That was our first beach retreat. We're at some, not really Myrtle Beach, but some Myrtle Beach area, basically. Real fun time. Once again, Sanctuary, another time we was gathered there at Miss Nad and them's house for the pool party in their pool. Another time with our Sanctuary. And that, really extremely hard to see, is us on the last beach trip. And there I am, way inside the back. So yeah, a decent amount has happened in the past two years with me. Although I never really talk about them that much, really. All the stuff that's happened and whatnot. Probably because I end up focusing more on the bad near the ending of towards 2015 or 2016 than the good, really. And sadly, our youth group is no longer together or whatnot, but we still all try our best to stay in touch and everything. So, yeah. And during all that time, I slowly started practicing bow staff and Eskrima as a workout, as a way to inspire me, a way to get into doing something. I took up bow hunting, not bow hunting, excuse me, bow shooting before and whatnot. I took up knife throwing, hatchet throwing, doing aerobic work and getting my body decently in shape to move around and whatnot for a big person like me. And that really is just a decent overview i guess of my life and past two years and what really i'm into and what i do out here as a person that just happens to have a youtube channel that my mom the page is made from my mom but i operate the page my name is not renee my name is brandon please do not call me renee okay so yeah and i really need to get in contact with people that say they put music on my videos and whatnot or be inside the background or whatever so these videos aren't that boring, and hopefully I will see y'all folks around soon inside another video. And uh, that one last thing, that time of me watching videos, the main people that inspired me to do what I've been doing have been Tactical YouTube, Nick Drosos, Onision Speaks, and Prepared My 101. So, thank you all, and I'll see y'all folks around.